Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is AP Calculus AB. We are going to be doing local linearity and linearization, and that means nothing to you right now, but it will in a few minutes, is local linearity and linearization. So let's take a look. Um, let's say we have the cube root of 8.2, and we want to know what the heck is an approximate number for the cube root of 8.2. Well, the amazing thing is, is you have a calculator, right? And so you can use that calculator to find out pretty much what a good approximation of the cube root of 8.2, but a long time ago, people didn't have calculators, okay? Sir Isaac Newton didn't have a calculator, and like you do, and so he had to come up with a way to approximate this. Well, we know the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. That's something we know, we know, which means the cube root of 8.2 is going to be a little bit bigger than 2, isn't it? Okay, and so what old Sir Isaac did is he found a way using calculus in order to approximate this without a calculator. Now, I know what you're going to say because I say the same thing. Why do we, well, what's the use of doing this today if we have calculators? Well, it's on the AP exam. So um, I will teach you it and you will have to know it is how to do what's called local linear approximation. So the function of x, what function can we approximate this from is the cubed root of x. Okay, that's what we're trying to approximate from, which is x to the one third power. Okay, and so that is my, let's call it my parent type function of, this is the one I'm gonna approximate off of, which you know what f of eight is, is eight to the one third power, which is equal to two. So f of eight is equal to two. f of 8.2, that's what I'm trying to find. Okay, and so we have a way called local linear approximation. We know right here at, at 8, it's equal to 2. We want to know what is this approximate value right here. Now you can see at this little approximate value, you can see it's, it's gone up a tiny y value, isn't it? Which means you can see the slope the derivative is going to help me out, and that's what Newton came up with, uh, or some mathematician somewhere came up with uh, this way to approximate this using the slope of the tangent line from this point right here at 8, and that's why it's locally done, which is an approximation, and we're using this linearization, which magically they call it local linear approximation. So let me give you the, the equation for local linear approximation. f of x, f of some value, that's our, our 8.2, is very uh, roughly, it's not equal to, so I'm going to give a little bit of, it's kind of equal to, it's approximation, if f of a plus f prime of a x minus a. Okay. Now, if you can di differentiate what's your x and what's your a, it's, this is gonna be very important. Use this formula over and over and over again. Know this formula for local linear approximation. Local linear approximation, okay? And so, if you know what your x and your a is, again, it makes it very, very important, okay? So, we're, our x is gonna be 8.2. Our a is gonna be 8. That's our A, A for approximation, okay? We're going to use that to approximate it, okay? So let's plug in. F of 8.2, which is what I'm trying to find, is roughly equal to F of 8, we know that, I found it here, F of 8 is equal to 2, plus F prime of 8, 8.2 minus 8, okay? Which means... I'm going to have to find the derivative. I'm going to have to find the derivative. What's the derivative of my function? What's the derivative of my function? Is the derivative of x to the one-third power. I'm going to use the product rule. Uh, one-third x to the negative two-thirds. Or you could say one over three, the cubed root of x squared, right? The cubed root of x squared. So I want to find f prime of 8, so f prime of 8, so I'm going to plug 8 into this derivative, 1 over 3, the cube root of 8 squared, 
Okay, what's the cube root of 8? It's 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12, so that's 1 12th. Which means f of 8 is equal to 2. Remember, it's it this f of 8.2 is going to be really close to 2, isn't it? So 2 plus 1 12th of the difference between 8.2 and 8, which is 2 tenths. Okay, 2 tenths. Same as if 2 Two families go camping, of course, it's two tenths. That's what they need. Or if you have too much anxiety, you're two tenths. And so you can see right here, that is plus one over 60, right? One over 60. And if you take a look at two plus one over 60, that ends up being 2.01666666666. If you literally did f of 8.2 in your calculator, you would have gotten 2.01653. You can see it is a very, very good approximation using your local linear approximation. Again, you might say, why, why can't I just use my calculator? Uh, this is an example on an AP exam. You can see you can see they gave me f of 2 is equal to 1, f prime of 2 is equal to 4, f prime prime of 2 is equal to 3. We want to know what's the approximation of f of 1.9. So I'm going to use my local linear approximation formula. What's my formula? If fx is roughly equal to f of a plus f prime of a x minus a. All right, so I want to know what's 1.9. Well, what am I going to approximate from? I'm going to approximate from 2, f of 2. So you can see a is going to be my 2, plus f prime of 2, x. What is x? x is 1.9 minus 2. So what was f of 2? Well, they told me f of 2 is equal to 1. What is f prime of 2? They told me f prime of 2 is equal to 4. What's 1.9 minus 2? 0.2 is negative 0.1, which means that's approximately equal to 1 plus negative 0.4. What's 1 plus negative 0.4? That's 0.6, and that is using my local linear approximation. Again, use the formula over and over and over and over again. Figure out who x is and who a is. You plug it in, and you can find it very, very easily. Okay. That is local linear approximation. I hope that helped. Do some self-assessment problems, and we'll be practicing this in class. Thanks, guys.